stories from Africa. Stories from Africa. The Greedy Hyena by Miss Hadithi. A long time ago, hyena and giraffe were best friends. Other animals envied their friendship. If one of them fell sick, they would go search for food, feed, and nurse the other until they got better. One day, hyena told giraffe, I know of a place with juicy fresh leaves, fat animals, and cool, clear waters. But there is a problem. You have to cross a river with crocodiles to reach there. The river was too deep for hyena, but with giraffe's height, they could make it there. Giraffe got excited. How he would love to munch those juicy fresh leaves. He even forgot about the dangerous crocodiles. Hyena knew the crocodiles well. He could tell when they were hungry, full, and their sleeping time. He also knew their sleeping spots. Daytime was not a safe time for them to cross the river, but nighttime was. Giraffe and Hyena planned to cross the river that night. They waited for the crocodiles to be in deep slumber before starting their journey to the land of yummy food. They were lucky because the moon was shining brightly in the cloudless sky. The river was still and quiet. Hyena rode on Giraffe's back, who made long, quiet strides so as not to disturb the water and awaken the crocodiles. They reached the other end safely. The place was just how Hyena had told Giraffe. All the trees were green with juicy barks and leaves. There were also many fat pigs all over the place. Hyena could not stop drooling. Eating a whole pig would make him full for two days. Hyena did not waste time. He jumped on one pig and started eating it. Giraffe took his time going around the trees and not knowing which one to start with. He was not in a hurry like his friend. Hyena ate quickly and got full. When Giraffe was about to eat his first leaves, Hyena told him it was time to leave. Hyena, please give me some more time. I need to eat all the leaves of this tree, begged Giraffe. No, the crocodiles are about to wake up. We should leave now, said Hyena. Giraffe cut off some leaves very fast. He wanted to eat them when they reached the other side. He asked Hyena to help him carry them. Hyena agreed to carry a few because they would be too heavy for him to carry. Hyena jumped on Giraffe's back and they started their journey back home. Giraffe was very careful not to splash the water. The two friends were all quiet until they reached a place where the water was not too deep and Hyena could swim to the shore. He jumped off Giraffe's back and let go of the leaves. He then started laughing uncontrollably. The fat leaves scattered and started to sink. Giraffe tried to reach out for them. He splashed the water and the crocodiles woke up. He heard the snapping of the crocodile's mouth coming towards him. He waded to the shore very fast before the crocodiles caught him. He safely reached the shore and found Hyena rolling on the ground with laughter. Giraffe asked Hyena why he jumped off his back and let go of the juicy leaves. My great-grandparents, my grandparents, my uncles, my aunts, my cousins, and all my siblings. We have to laugh when we are full. It is our way of life and I cannot stop it. Explained Hyena. Hmm. All right. I understand said giraffe looking sad and feeling tired and hungry do we go back again tonight for some more food 
asked Giraffe with hope in his eyes. And why not? We have to go back every night until all the pigs are finished. Hyena sounded so excited. He then fell on his side and started rolling with laughter again. When night came, the two friends went back to the land of the yummy food. This time, Giraffe did not waste time. He ate all the juicy leaves from two trees and could eat no more. He turned to Haina and told him that it was time to leave. His friend had not started eating because he had not yet picked the best pig to eat. Haina begged for more time, but Giraffe refused and reminded him that the sun was about to rise and the crocodiles were about to wake up. Haina jumped on his friend's back feeling sad and hungry. Giraffe got into the water and walked quietly. When they reached the middle, Giraffe dipped his back, neck and head into the water. He was taking a bath. Haina struggled to float and pleaded with his friend to first take him to the shore. Giraffe answered, My great-grandparents, my grandparents, my uncles, my aunts, my cousins, and all my siblings, we have to take a bath in the middle of the river when our tummies are full. It is our way of life, and I cannot stop it. Haina struggled to swim to the shore. He made so much noise splashing the water and the crocodiles woke up from their sleep. Giraffe waded very fast and reached the shore. The crocodiles saw Haina and they started swimming towards him. Haina would make a good breakfast for them. When Haina heard the snapping of the crocodile's mouth getting near him, he tried to swim fast. When he was about to get to the shore, the crocodiles caught up with him. They bit and broke Haina's back legs, but he was able to break free. Since then, Haina's back legs became shorter and he became enemies with giraffe. He is seen roaming the African savanna looking for giraffe. The End Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Do not forget to hit the notification button for an alert of a new story.